It's your girl Angel K, and if you want to see how I got this natural look, then keep on watching. Alright, first we're going to start with priming. I'm going to use this Maybelline primer. This is in the shade 400 and I'm just going to use this to smooth my skin and set a nice base for the foundation. Next I'm going in with my favorite SPF at the moment. This is by Neutrogena. It's oil free and it also features broad spectrum SPF. So this will be very helpful in protecting your skin from the sun. Now here I am adding some of that primer to my eyelids and this will help set a base for my eyeshadow. Here is the Milani Stay Put Brow in the shade Dark Brown and I'm going to be using this spoolie to brush out my eyebrows and then the pomade on the other end to fill them in. Now if you want to get a nice natural brow, you're going to want to use light feathery strokes just to start to fill in your brows and make sure you follow the natural shape of your eyebrows and just fill in any areas that are sparse. As you can see, I'm using very light strokes here and just filling in where the hair should be. And as long as you keep it light, you're going to get a very natural look. Now I'm gonna take the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Toffee, and I'm going to use this to carve out my brows. And I'm just going very lightly again. That's how you wanna get the most natural look. And you're just gonna lightly outline where you want your eyebrows to be, and just kind of cover up any hair that's in the wrong spot. And as you can see, I am just following the natural arch in my eyebrow and creating that shape that I want. And now you're gonna do the same thing at the top of your eyebrow, just carving out the shape and following the natural shape of your eyebrow and cleaning up wherever you need to. And here I am blending out the concealer. You definitely want to make sure you're well blended so that everything looks nice and natural and seamless. And now I'm taking the e.l.f. Brow Kit in dark brown and we're going to use that powder to set the eyebrows. I have very oily skin so it's important for me to set my eyebrows with some sort of powder. Now moving on to eyeshadow, I'm gonna begin priming my lids with the same concealer from earlier. And I'm going to take this NYX Bear With Me spray to wet my brush and make sure that everything is well blended. Wetting the brush just gives you a more seamless blend on your eye. And now I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Bake and Blot Powder in the shade Banana, and I'm going to use this to set my concealer and set the base so that the eyeshadow lasts all day. To complete this natural eyeshadow makeup, I will be using the Nubian palette from Juvia's Place, and I'm going to start with this very warm toned shade to serve as a base for my eyeshadow look. Now I'm taking this cool toned light brown shade, and I'm going to use this to put in my crease and start building up some color. I'm using a small blending brush and sweeping motions to distribute the color as well. Now I'm taking this reddish brown shade to start building up the ombre in my crease and we're just going to go right over top that color we used earlier and using those same sweeping motions to slowly build up color. Now take your time with this because you can always add more eyeshadow but you can't take any away so just go very slow and build up the color. And now I'm taking a large fluffy brush without any eyeshadow on it just to blend everything together and make a very seamless ombre effect. And here I am taking the darkest cool tone brown and starting to build up the color in the outer corner of my eye. And as you can see, it takes me some time to build it up, but then I start to go into my crease as well and using those same sweeping motions to build up the color and blend it in. Now 
Now taking that same cool light brown shade from earlier, we're going to go over all of the colors and just blend them in. And now I'm taking this shimmery rust shade on my finger and putting it in the center of my eyelid and eventually filling in all the space that we left for our eyeshadow. And this just adds a nice pop of color to the look. And now I'm going back in with that shade that I used as my base from earlier and we're just gonna place it above all the dark colors used in our crease just to blend everything out one more time. And to complete the look, I'm taking this icy gold shade and using it as my inner corner highlight. Now I'm taking my favorite mascara. This is the Maybelline Falses Mascara. And as you can see, it's curved to fit the shape of your eye. So application is very easy. And I just make sure I coat my lashes completely going on the top and bottom of my lashes. Now moving on to foundation, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 355 Coconut. This is the dewy finish and it also comes with SPF. Now I'm going to take that NYX Bear With Me spray to wet my brush. And I put way too much foundation on that brush. As you can see, I have way too much on my face, but try not to use too much because it can make your face look very cakey and oily. So I'm just gonna end up wiping some of this off on my hand and using it for my neck because I put way too much on my face. And here I am speeding through the blending process, but just make sure your foundation is very well blended for the most natural look. Now I'm taking that extra foundation and blending it into my neck. And here I am taking that same powder that I used for my eyes earlier and putting this over my oily areas, especially in my T-zone, on my forehead and my nose. And now it's time for contour. I'm taking this Black Radiance Contour Palette in Deep to Dark and you're just going to want to go around your cheekbones and you're going to want to blend everything out. I'm using this angled brush and I'm making sure that I get into my jawline and my hairline as well. And here is a Serafina blush from Juvia's Place. I'm taking this on a very fluffy brush and putting it on the apples of my cheeks and working my way upwards slightly towards my hairline. And here I'm just using a sweeping motion. And now it's time for a highlight. I'm using this fan brush to create a C shape on my cheekbones, kind of going around my eye. And this is gonna make a very natural highlight. And moving on to lips, I'm taking the NYX Suede Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Club Hopper and outlining my lips, making sure to get a very clean line all the way around. And for lipstick, I'm using the NYX Liquid Suede Matte Lipstick Cream, and this is in the shade Soft Spoken. And I'm just gonna go over all the areas on my lips and we're gonna end up blotting them together to blend the liner with the lipstick. Can you tell I like NYX products? Um, to top this off, I'm using the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Ginger Snap, just to pull the look together and add a glossy finish. Now don't forget about your setting spray. I am taking the NYX Bear With Me spray to set the look. That way it can last all day long. And that is the look. I hope you like this one. And keep on watching my channel. Subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know what you want me to do next. And until next time, 